Hello, hello, hello. We are back again. How are you, Kelly? I'm great. We're the dynamic duo, and I don't even feel like we need to mention who we are anymore. <laughs> I hope not. If you've gotten this far, we're doing pretty good. Then you know who we are. That's right. That's right. No introductions um, needed. Yeah. I mean, for people in Oxford, at least. Yeah. Everybody else, yeah. Yes. But we're excited to have Nick here today. One of your favorite guests. Always. 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 <laughs> but welcome, Nick Hotman. Hi, Nick. Jet lagged. Howdy, howdy. howdy. Jet lagged and ready to paint. Maybe uh, we should get over the jet need, lag before you start little, painting. Yeah, give me a little bit more sleep. Then then I can start painting. Okay, yeah, that's fair. That's I've, worked, fair. I've worked on less. Okay. There you we'll, go. We'll, well, there you go. Nice. So. Well, we're live on Facebook we today. Are. So if anybody wants to ask Nick a question or yeah. tell him how much they love him, they right. can go ahead and just put that in the comments. I'll be keeping an eye on my phone. All right. No awkward stories, please. No awkward oh, stories. Oh, right. Well, those are for we'll later. We'll censor. We'll censor. <laughs> Will we? <laughs> Maybe. I yes. Mean, fair warning. So. <laughs> well, it's good to have you back. I know you have a lot of plans, but I just want to quickly talk about your background and you being from Oxford. Don't say anything bad about Oxford, but tell us oh, how much you now. loved being raised here in this community. Well, to restart it, the only reason why we moved is because the economy tanked as bad as it did and I just needed to find a job somewhere so otherwise I would have loved to live here and have my kids go to the same high school I graduated from and ironically that's why I'm here is because my nephew's open house for his graduation oh, from Oxford that's is, awesome. this, is this weekend so nice. are we invited always yeah Oxford's just, just, a family town right yeah if the garage doors <laughs> open show up right I'm so, sure we, I'm sure we know somebody well yeah you guys know so um, but yeah, so I figured while I was going to be here, I was going to get some other projects going. So I have one that's kind of under wraps for a few minutes, one that's kind of evolving. And then I always volunteer and stumble into a few more projects. So knowing, knowing Kelly and Kim, I'll have something else happening over the next couple of weeks. So <laughs> I bought a one way ticket. So that way oh, I nice. don't have oh, a, we can ooh, really put them to work. Ticket that's great. To paradise, baby. Yeah, so that way Oxford, I don't Michigan. have to stay. <laughs> This long, I yeah. can stay as long yes. as I need to. Well, let's talk happened. about the first time you came in. So this is almost three years ago, two and a half two years? Two and a half-ish. The and summer, summer of 22. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So long story short, we have this space, now Washington Square, named by our assistant director, Kimberly. And, and my think tank. Yes, and your think tank. <laughs> And we have a blank wall on Sisters um, Hair Salon, and I get a call, I believe, from your mom. Mm -hmm. That was the first one to call me and just pitch mm -hmm. out this idea of having a mural. And I did not know the famous Nick Hotman at the time, um, but heard a lot about you. Your mother's very proud. And, oh, I know. And persistent. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that conversation mm -hmm. kind of develops over a few months' time. She and you together go out to the community and get sponsorship. Then the DDA matches the other portion of the grant for the mural. Mm -hmm. And after many revisions, probably drove you crazy a few times. Yeah. We have this beautiful <laughs> Oxford mural. <laughs> that, no. that subtle, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, honestly, it was something that happened. And so um, – Obviously, everyone knows what happened, and so we don't need to rehash that. But it was a thought that I had um, while I was painting a mural in Idaho. And I was like, I just wanted to be able to do something to lift spirits and have a little bit of a shift. Because between COVID and everything else, it was just a rough, rough patch yeah. at that yeah. point. Um, and so I wanted to see what we could do to try and come back and give something that would be more beneficial and vibrant and some good energy to the area and so um blanche kenny is a family friend who i grew up with and it was something that i was like and blanche owns sisters she is sisters yeah okay and so i grew up with her son eddie and rachel and so um it was just something that we reached out to her about and she's like yeah i got a blank wall let's paint it so she donated the space and then talking to kelly it was like well we have this long term of building this out into this community space and um ryan austin who would BSI paint concrete yeah. mm -hmm. paving. Yep. So that's a uh, was another high school football friend, and so we played ball together, and so it was just it all just kind of 
blended together. And it just was a really good way of being able to show that that is a community outreach that came together to build one cohesive thing that's really a good staple in the community now. And so it's really recognizable in the area. And so it just, yeah, it worked out well. And having a resource here and having a fellow Oxford alumni, it just is like all these pieces just plugged in together to make a nice piece for Oxford. Yeah, and it it really was cool Um, just going through that whole process and then that community space, really everything came together at once. Mm -hmm. So when all the paving and everything was done, then the mural was finished, it became this beautiful area that now we've been able to activate, I think, even more than we thought. Yeah, Um, for sure. Just with line dancing and car shows Mm -hmm. and the market that Kimberly runs, it's just been such a wonderful community space. But the mural really is kind of that highlight of that area, especially because so many people take their family photos in front of it. They take Mm -hmm. their grad pictures, my daughter's grad pictures from kindergarten. You know, it's just it's really for everyone. (laughs) And I love that. And, you know, when you have that other red wall on the other side. That we all love so much. It's a good backdrop for the truck. Right. Exactly. <laughs> so I, I tend to always look towards the mural when look, I'm in that space. It would look space. better blue. Uh, yes. I, or, he's pitching that or out to a us. mural? I know, I know a no, painter. I was actually thinking a white square that you oh. could put like a film screen on for watching movies in oh. the square. Or maybe... See football this games, brain, like, this brain game we I have love here. This. Well, I like love this. live streaming road games. So if the Oxford fans can't make a road game, you can yeah. project them. I love there. this. I'm oh, just okay, kinda, just throwing it out just there. Gently softball. <laughs> yep, yep. Someone, someone hit it. I hope I our just, TDA board is listening right now. Right? You know? Yes. Yeah. We like yeah. this idea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, so it's just turned into more here in town, and so um, going back to the, ori- the original question is is I loved growing up in Oxford and it was a great area and it's, I didn't really, I shouldn't say that I didn't know any different, but you know, it was a good spot for me to be growing up in and you know, my wife growing up in Texas and then in Indiana. Um, I don't know, even the little small town we live now in Idaho feels a lot of resemblance to what Oxford is. And so I like the smaller town vibe and it's nice, especially when you're coming into the village area, it very much, still feels like that small town where everybody knows everyone you know tim davidson still the pharmacist at patterson's which is what hometown pharmacy now Mm -hmm. i went to school with scott his son and so it's like so everyone still knows everyone i look forward to coming back and seeing vicky or i can stop in and see scott at sick pizza i remember red naps was still kessler's corner growing up as a kid and it still has that small town vibe and that's what i really like and so Outside of the area, as soon as you leave the village proper area, you still have Meyer and all the restaurants and everything else that you need, and you're not too far away from anything like Rochester or anything else. But I like the smaller town vibe and the feel. And so having things like the concerts in the park, those are what I remember growing up as a kid with. And so you two adding new things in, like the witches' nights or the lights that are downtown or the music that's playing, it just keeps that energy that's in downtown really vibrant. And so I like seeing the smaller, unique shops like Funky Monkey and um, Caveman and Pip coming in. So it just shows that as a town, you're able to grow, but still maintain that authentic uniqueness that you can't find anywhere else. You're not going to find Funky Monkey in Rochester or Royal Oak. You're not going to find Victoria's in anywhere else like it, it's so it's just a unique environment that ex- exclusive to oxford where it's independent but it also really is a good area for where you're growing up here for kids and everything else so yeah and so I that's think, why I, I like it here yeah and that's one of the you know the mission and the vision of the dda is to make sure that we're protecting that um small town historic feel but then also doing things that still move us forward. And, you know, you talk about the lighting on tops of the buildings and the music. Those are things that we can do to make it even better and attract more people, Mm -hmm. but still maintain what we're about. Mm -hmm. So we're glad to have you back. And, you know, you've not just done the Oxford mural that is within Washington Square, but now two additional murals on other buildings. And, you know, we tend to get the question, like, why one artist? Why Nick? There's been and five. 
there's been oh okay i was just kidding um and just, i have been a part of all those so i'm really really on that today but i just want to say that you know when you find an artist that is consistent and you find an artist that wants to work with you and really cares about the vision and cares about the downtown i feel like that's why we continue to have you back and want these murals in our community because we know you're going to do them well. We know that you're going to make a finished product that the community is proud of and that's happy that they're happy with. And then I also just love the fact that you were born and raised here because people who are born and raised here care about this community. Yeah. Yeah. And that's true. I mean, like even we live in my wife and I, we live in Idaho now. And so going back there, I'm growing more and more as my kids are growing up there and we're becoming more acclimated in the environment out there. But sure, I can't give the spirit of painting a high school mural for Pocatello High School there like I could someone that's born and raised there. So coming back here, um, even one of the projects that I'm going to be working on while I'm here is through one of the elementary schools. And it's and it, I just feel like it's a little bit more authentic because it's place that I grew up in it's a place that I attended I've had friends that have gone to that school and so there is a difference like when you're growing up here you remember the powder blue water tower that with has the old English village of Oxford written on it yeah and, <laughs> and so you remember those things but then there's enough progressive change that's happened like with the bridge the Polly and Trail bridge that there's enough old and new that have come together mm -hmm. So someone that has moved away and then come back, it's really neat to see there's still Oxford Bank on the corner. And there's still the Goodrich Theater that was the Miracle Twin Theater when I was going to school. And the Golden Dragon is still here. It's like, so there's a lot of these original things that I grew up with. Frosty Boy down in, by Little Caesars. But then there's also a lot of new stuff that's been coming in too. So... Um, we just drove past Scripture Park because I'm meeting with them today to talk about some things. That whole back strip has been so developed over the last mm -hmm. couple of years. It's just wild for me. I remember playing baseball at Scripture Park, and now there's houses and complexes and businesses. It's just, it's just a whole new experience. So Oxford feels very new, but it's also the, the same. The same. Yeah. Like, yeah. So it's been something I've really enjoyed doing and being a part of. And so I always look forward to coming back to Oxford for projects. So Yeah. And so you've done, you said five murals here. Uh, I actually, I guess technically six. So I did okay. the Oxford one on Washington Square. We did the balloon on the side of Grav Cap. Mm -hmm. um, the patchwork one on creative embroidery. The bistro wall on the other side of creative embroidery. Mm -hmm. um, the bike shop, the mural inside the bike shop. Oh, that's right. I and then that one. And then the front lettering and fascia on the covered wagon salary. That's right. Yeah. So. And you do have other projects that you've done in Oxford Township also. Is that correct? Yes. Oh, okay. yeah. And, and then we did the beachfront at Stony Lake. Yeah. So I, I was going to say I kind of forgot about that. So. <laughs> See, I'm not the so. only one. Okay, guys. <laughs> Sorry, guys. That's Sorry. okay. I'm so still which tired. one has been so. your favorite? And why? Oh, that's a good question. That's I already know the fair. answer to this. Sure it is. That's yes. not fair. I have a we favorite. We ask the tough, hard-hitting questions here on the Downtown Diaries. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so here's how I'm going to answer this very politically. Don't. Just Come don't. <laughs> nope, this is going to be the nice way of saying it. I'm pretty extroverted, and I'm pretty colorful as a whole. And so, like a lot of my murals in Idaho and Alabama and everywhere else where I've painted, I design to what the client wants. So that's what's unique yes. about me. It's mm -hmm. like I don't, someone asked me the other day, what's my brand? And my brand is whatever they're needing. So I can do a realistic portrait or I can do geometric circles. Like it doesn't bother me where I do. Um, so I really enjoyed working on the Stony Lake one because I worked with some of the high school students. So shout out to Cora and her crew. And it was really colorful and it was fun to be out on the beach and be really bright and vibrant. Mm -hmm. But um, personally, I would say that of the ones that are in town, I like I like the Oxford. They're each individual, so I'll go through it. I like Oxford one because it's the first one. And it kind of, I feel like, opened the door for more opportunities and for other things in town. 
and I really like seeing people share their pictures, senior pictures and stuff in front of it. Or I've seen a couple of kids that make the like the YMCA, but they do the O and the X and the F, and like it's cool <laughs> seeing it on people taking pictures in front of it. But I also really enjoy the patchwork one on the side of creative embroidery because there's so much history in it. Mm-hmm. And um, it was really fun. I worked with Drew Holt on it to get some information with the, um, the, the, the museum in downtown. Yeah. And so it was just really fun to be able to know what I'm painting on the wall is history. And people are coming by and being like, I remember that old thing. And I remember that. And I remember where that was there. And, oh, it's really cool you added the polyam trail. And so it was really neat. You know, Rod, I know you're watching Lone Ranger stuff. Like, it was really cool to see oh, all this. Oh, that one, too. We yeah. forgot about that Oh, one. I did on the back. The, <laughs> in the back of Oh, yeah. So I did yep. that one, too. But I was thinking about the Lone Ranger on the patchwork mm-hmm. one. So um, it just is really cool to me to be able to see all the history that even, I mean, I'm a lifer. I've been here 30 years. And my mom was before that and generationally one of the founding families. So, but to see all this history that's come into it, it's just really, it's cool for me because I'm a big history buff as well. I mean, I'm not Rod Charles level. Rod, I love you. But I am, I like history. And so I, a lot of the things I do lately now, I've been restoring neon signs and vintage signs and doing ghost signs. So I've been traveling to do all that stuff too. So seeing all the history here is just really something that's really cool and unique and personal to me but i also really like the grav cap one because it's a balloon and it was fun and the stripes were really fun and the grav cap staff are really cool and so it was really nice just to have them come out and chat with me and we had to have a pint and talk and so it was just really cool that all the murals that i've worked on as a whole have just really been something neat and even like the bike shop it was an interior mural in their shop but they were up and coming and they were just getting their shop opened up. And so for them to want to say, Hey, come out here and put this unique piece on our building and making a staple like that and committing to it, it's just really cool. And now I'm really happy to see them thriving and doing well. And so, so everything has got its own space and its own place to me. So it's hard for me to answer that question directly, but. And all of them have a story, which is nice and they mean something to the community. I mean, even the hot air balloon. Yeah. For years, the hot air balloons have always met behind Red Naps area where Mm -hmm. that mural is. And, you know, so it's just really cool because you can't look up on a summer night in Oxford and not see a hot air balloon. I swam in Scripter all the time and in Stony, and there was plenty of times I'm watching hot air balloons fly over. So Mm -hmm. So it was always something that was unique to that spot, too. So. All the murals in town have their own piece, and that's how I am with all my murals. And so I can't really say that I'm biased to anyone. But if given anything specifically, I'm a very colorful person. And so, um, but I'm happy to know that I have a very unique color palette and being able to work with you on this is what we're. (laughs) No, it's not a bad thing. I hear negative and good things on this all the time. It's fine. I'm not saying. I'm no, not saying I, it's bad. Can we talk about this? The because color this, palette? Yes, let's yes, talk let's about the color that. palette. Because okay. I don't think people realize about the color palette. So Nick uh, comes to me. He is a very colorful person. Do you have your nails painted right now? No. No? Okay. Well, usually no. the nails are painted some kind of color. They'll, they'll probably be pink or orange by the end of the week. There we go. <laughs> but <laughs> so when we were introducing the murals to downtown, I sat with design committee. We sat with the board, the village. All these different minds go into this. It's very important for us to keep the historic nature of downtown. Mm -hmm. We're a very old town, you know, 1837 for Oxford, 76 for the actual village. We did not want to start putting a ton of colors on buildings and have people upset. Mm -hmm. So to introduce it, we stayed with kind of that older blue, gold, khaki colors. I go with my phrasing is... We go with classic, classic, and classic. timeless. Timeless, there you go. lovely. Navy, khaki, gold, taupe. Those are universal, yes. classic, mm-hmm. timeless colors. Yes. they won't. They won't go out of style because we want people to appreciate the artwork, but we don't want the artwork to, to necessarily distract yeah. from the historic buildings and the architecture and everything that Oxford is. Mm-hmm. Now, people have started to say they would like to see color, and I think it's because they're now comfortable with the murals in town and they've now started to really appreciate them. So maybe we could like add an additional two colors. <laughs> also timeless and classic. Yeah. So no, hot I've... pink. And no. Purple. And lime green. No. 
<laughs> well, I was going to say when we were talking earlier or when you were mentioning kind of why you like to have a consistent artist, I think it is that consistency of the deliverable of staying within that color yes. palette and staying within the style. And like you mentioned, Nick, we've had conversations offline. I just have learned about you and your business and kind of what you gravitate towards mm-hmm. in your, you know, your own personal taste versus mm-hmm. what you do for customers. And I think that goes to show from a business standpoint that you can deliver what the customer wants. That and is you've true. been able to do that in Oxford and obviously elsewhere, yeah. but specifically in Oxford because Kelly is very particular. <laughs> That's such a good way to it say it. It is, in a good way. No. I mean, she has no. a, takes a lot of pride in Oxford. And for her to want to continue to bring the same yes. person back mm-hmm. says a lot. Yeah. Well, and I appreciate that, too. But I did just get confirmation from the person that's taking care of the school. So I will be painting Clear Lake Elementary. Oh, hey. So that's I'll be working, awesome. I'll be working in their cafeteria and painting and doing some updating in there. And then I'll be cool. painting a teacher appreciation wall inside the school as well. I love so this. Be, awesome. so, I love that. So it'll be fun. It'll be exciting. I just wanted to make sure I got clearance from someone sure. before I made that public because yeah. I didn't know if that was going to be a wait till you walk in the fall and right. it's new or not. And right. so yes. I got clearance for that. So That's so that's exciting. Um, so, and you're going to finish the one behind Victoria's. Do you want to just tell everybody what you're going to finish on that one? Tell them a little bit about that mural. Yes, uh, we've got a couple of little small projects that we have to need to do on that, um, adding some signage and kind of putting that vibe back in. Uh, we got the planners put on the windows this spring so that way well, you guys can enjoy the uh, flowers on there too. Mm-hmm. And I haven't been back there to see it yet. I got in at 4 o'clock this morning, so I'm a little Really? I'm a little, I'm I feel a little like tired. you have plenty of time to go check it out. Well, I did <laughs> I did have enough time to go get some coffee and drive by Scripture Park. And drive by and get <laughs> and uh, drive by Scripture Park, and then we came back home and dropped my my boys back off at my parents' house because we're staying there. And um, so yeah, that's kind of what we did. So I haven't got a chance to go back out there yet. And I'm meeting with Scripture Park this afternoon. They're having an All Star game this afternoon, and then I'm gonna probably go jam out at concert in the park. So Yay. I'm excited about tonight. Yeah. Dueling so, pianos, Rodney Fredericks yeah. is amazing. Fantastic. Yeah. So I'm excited about that. And then I'm going to be meeting with K Block Barbecue tomorrow. Nice. So hopefully finalize some things. And if you want some color, that's it's a good place. Be, it's going to be some brighter I color. I'm excited <laughs> about be. this project, though. I've seen the mock ups. We've met with Michael from K Blocks going back mm-hmm. and forth on that. Um, DDA kind of put in a couple of their two cents. And when I say DDA, I mean. Kelly and um but I'm so excited and I think yeah. it's gonna be it'll be such fun. It, it's really gonna be a cool experience for everybody that drives yeah. by there so it'll be fun and it'll definitely be something that is not what I would say in the standard of what oh. we've been doing here. yeah yeah can, you, can this, you tease it it'll be a little bit more interactive okay yeah. there's gonna have some support local business vibes Okay. And some interaction pieces with like selfie opportunities. Okay. And it's going to have a little of that Oxford Wildcat spirit, which is Excellent. what I've been trying to get plugged in somewhere at the at the ro- appropriate space, sure. I should say. I don't want it to have a big wildcat and scaring people, but we want to be able to have something that's a little bit more fun. But bring some of that school vibe because especially growing in this area as a small town, it's, I think I've talked to you and I've talked yeah. to Michael about it before, is it's... Um, Oxford's one of those unique towns that it doesn't matter if what elementary school you go to, middle school, high school, every school is a wildcat. So from the time you are a kindergartner until you graduate, you're a wildcat. You're, Did you're you one know mascot. they had different names, though? What do you mean by? Like the wildcats have different names. Oh. I think this is a thing. I mean, like, My kids like were Bob trying and to ex- Stacey and Well, I mean, I'm not sure about Bob, but. <laughs> Bob the um, wildcat and. I, my the kids were trying cat. to explain this to <laughs> me the <laughs> other day. Kelly the Wildcat? I don't know. I mean, no. I, I didn't so know like this. each school has their own version? That's what these my kids oh. were trying to explain oh. to me the other day. And I'm like, is this a so thing? It makes I mean, I don't know. I didn't go guess to school to, in Oxford. Guess we need to talk to the school district. Yeah. I know. You I know, know the, the new one's Warrior, right? The one yeah. that we all know yeah. from the high school. Warrior? Warrior. Warrior. All right. He's the cool. alpha. He's the alpha. Yeah. I know. I know how they I need to take down now. So no, no. so <laughs> no. That's I didn't know that. I just assumed it was wild warrior wild, for everybody. Wildcat, yeah. right? Well, I mean, they're all wildcats. So yeah, they're like Wally or 
Well, we'll look Wendy into it for our, our readers cool. or cool. our watchers. We'll look into it and we'll yeah. get back to you. We'll guys. let okay. them know. Because I cool. feel like That's this is good thing. information. Mm-hmm. We need to know this. So, yeah, like like in Pocatello where we live, there's three different high schools. And so there's Pocatello Indians. Or no, sorry, that's not Indians now. They changed their name to the Thunder. Um, there's the Highland Rams, and then there's the Century Diamondbacks. Oh. You have three high schools there? Mm-hmm. That's amazing. Uh, we actually have five high schools and a college. And so wow. Oh, wow. one of the projects that I'm going to be working on in August is kind of reflecting a little bit of that from here. There is I'm painting uh, community walls in our downtown, and historic downtown Pocatello is what it's called, and we'll be painting um spirit walls for each of the high schools oh, on a building cool. so they can come and get pictures in front of it as well and so it'll be the five high schools because we have three public one charter one private an alternate school so i guess we have six and then we have our idaho state university so we'll have a college meal there too so it'll be pretty cool so that'll be a big project that i'm doing back there in august and so yeah it'd be fun so yeah, I like it. Nice. As we're sitting here, I'm also getting a text from one of our board members. She just dropped Converse shoes on my desk because oh. apparently you're supposed to be painting them. So oh. she's very excited. Hi, Leanne. So, <laughs> <laughs> so tell us about you paint <laughs> shoes too? Um, Yeah. Basically what I tell people is if you can see it, I can make it. Or if it's paintable, I can paint it. So I'm, I've got a friend of mine that I grew up with in high school who graduated with me. He lives in Pittsburgh. Um, they just shipped me their son's hockey helmet, their goalie helmet. So I'm going to be painting his goalie helmet to play oh, on his hockey that team. That is so Very cool. cool. So, so I do that, and um, I paint vans and Converse shoes, um, both for private or for larger um, groups, I guess I should say. Like I painted school shoes for during COVID, especially where people couldn't, they, they wore masks and they couldn't see what they're doing. Um a couple of schools asked me to paint shoes that were going to be unique. So that way, that, you know, it'd be kind of friendly and inviting. And especially, you know, when you're a kindergartner, you've never been to school before. Yeah. And here's yeah. this face that you can't see. Aww. And all of a sudden, I'm your teacher. That's yeah. a lot. So something fun or inviting to yeah. kind of make them feel a little bit more comfortable. I feel so, like we need Oxford DDA shoes. Yeah. For all of our events. Yeah. I could make them gold sparkles. And <gasps> okay. Maybe put I had me at sparkles. <laughs> anyway, and maybe put a crown on one. Like we could do all I that. Mean, It'd be five. Yeah. I'll never turn down a crown. It'd be vibes. Same. It'd be vibes. That's so, cool. So we do that stuff. And so um, I do them for individual stuff. I get a lot of pushes like that for commissions, um, hats and stuff like that that happen around the holidays because people want unique um, Christmas gifts or other things like that. So, um, so yeah, I do shoes and stuff like that. And apparently dropped them off we've been talking via message and she asked me if i was going to be at the village office today and i thought i was going to be there i thought that's where the podcast was oh, so no nope, you're I'm, official you're so in here studio I'm, so studio. I am in studio so um so thanks for dropping those off appreciate it <laughs> so um yeah so I, I paint shoes and i do individual canvases and fine art stuff and i still show my work and i still have a full graphic firm that i run so i do uh, stickers, labels, signage, advertisement, marketing, social media management. So I do all that as well. So that's under a separate business. So NH Creative is that business. And then Nick Hotman Art is basically my my messier side. It's all my paint. It's all my fine arts. It's all my canvas work. And then NH Creative is my nice, clean, sit in my office with my polo and tap on my... Do you own a polo? Uh, I This is a button. Not, well, yeah. I have lots of polos. <laughs> I used to. I should say I used to have polos. I worked corporate for a long time, and so I worked for a beer distributor in Texas, and so I had to wear polos and slacks and penny loafers. And oh, my. I had to be, I don't want to say clean-shaven, but real real tight, and, and they didn't even really want long beards. And so this is the shortest my beard's been in, goodness, a long time. Wow. So, so, yeah, so then I moved out of that corporate world and kind of went into my own independent world and now the I wear, now I wear flamingo mm-hmm. button ups. And, I love it. So yeah. It's fun. So what do you like to do in your free time? You have a lot of creativity in your working life. What do you do when you're not working? Ooh, I, I have. Do you do things outside of work? <laughs> um, you have a lot going on. Well, I always have. I don't like having idle hands. I like to stay busy. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't sleep much anymore, and then I just. 
part of that's just my getting in my own head and part of it's just how my creative mind works. It's just hard to turn off. Um, so a lot of the time that I spend outside of being creative is just with my wife and kids. So, um, you know, date nights are, are important and, uh, my boys are in jujitsu, so like we'll do coffee dates. We'll go and drop my boys off, and then we'll go grab a cup of coffee in the evening while we're waiting for them to just beat the tar out of each other. <laughs> um, we're really active in scouts. I go camping every month and do car washes and fundraisers with them. And um, I'm kind of the stay-at-home dad, so because of my work schedule, I have a lot of flexibility with that. So I'm the person that does the laundry and does the dishes, and so I'm like Susie homemaker, and I keep the house taken care of and. So it's kind of a unique dynamic. My wife and I, we kind of really split things up. So she does groceries and cooking and I'm the cleaning and making the kids doctor's appointments. And so it's just kind of a good healthy balance for how we work. And so I listen to a lot of music. So I really enjoy music. And I think that really helps with my creativity a lot. Um, I watch movies. Do you have to listen buff. to music while you paint? I do. I do. Because what do you listen to? <laughs> this is what, like, what is on um, your AirPod, your play, like, well, in your ear? Well, um, does it depend see. on the job? That's what I'm it, thinking. It like, yeah, our murals yeah. are okay. like only a few colors, so do you it have depends. to play something slow, like okay, a little so softer? It's a little, so it's a little complex. So I have different phases of how I do the work. So rough work, where I'm blocking everything out, generally is something a little bit more. I don't want to say aggressive. But like, I listen to Linkin Park, Metallica, Black Sabbath, like Def Leppard, like a, something a little bit more like rev you up, get you going. Um, but then when it comes to doing detailing work, like hand lettering, I have like the hugest crush on the Carpenters. So I listen to a <laughs> lot of Carpenters, <laughs> and I listen to Hozier a lot, and oh. um, more acoustic Ed Sheeran, not as top forty pop stuff. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I listen to a lot of that stuff, but then I listen to a lot of B side stuff, so alternate music. So um Nick Drake, which I don't know if you guys have heard of Nick Drake. Um he's a, an amazing musician. So a lot of that kind of stuff and that's where it's more calm. But then it also depends on the environment. So where I've been painting in Idaho right now, it's a really busy intersection and I think every big boy with their big jacked up truck or their motorcycle feels like this is the intersection to rev up their car or rev up their motorcycle because okay. they got to feel super tough and when i grow up i'm gonna have a really big noisy jacked up truck and that's my goal when i grow up that's what i want to do oh good so you be, have a so i can be loud and noisy you have a pretty cool truck when you're here though don't you yeah my dad's screaming eagle it's cool <laughs> it's parked it's parked out front right now it's cool <laughs> And I and I love it. It's a good it's a good truck, and, and he he thinks oh it's he gosh. thinks it's funny. I call it the Screaming Eagle. It's but, awesome. Um, so then, but if it's in a busier intersection, then I have to have something that kind of drowns out that a little bit. So yeah, I'll date myself. I listen to. I'm a more of an '80s '90s person, but I can never go wrong with Queen. That's like my that's that's oh, my I band. Love that's Queen. my band. So I am a. I literally watched Bohemian Rhapsody on the plane last night. It's like one of my favorite movies, and so I was listening to. Killer Queen and another one bites the dust and some other ones that I'm not going to say on your channel. So, Thank you. so anyway, thank you for keeping it clean. You're oh welcome. yes, very clean. You're welcome. So it's just been it was so it's just been fun. So it just really depends on the vibe or the energy that I'm doing and what kind of music I am. But yeah, a lot of times when you're seeing me like sign names or hand lettering, nine times out of ten, Karen Carpenter is singing in my ear or Nick Drake. So I love that. Or Nick so Drake, great. Because they're my love that. They're my favorites. So yeah. Aww. I honestly like. Carpenters, that's fine. I yeah. was when you were kind of stretching that story out. I'm like, he's gonna say like Backstreet Boys or something. Oh my like, god, come in. Oh, I listen to a that's lot. When, that's I listen when he's to a up lot on a ladder. Of, that's right. Yeah. Okay. I listen to a lot of 90s pop. So I have okay. I, good bops. So I have and sync. I have some Britney Spears. Okay. I have. I have. I have Christina Aguilera. I'm up there. What a girl wants. Well, oh I'm my painting. Gosh. It's oh yeah, it's my jam. So it's, awesome. I love it's it. my thing. So I, yeah, nineties nineties pop. Yeah. And sometimes a little Limp Biscuit slips in there randomly. Just okay. it's weird, but yeah. <laughs> anyway, so it's, it's just, just happens. It to... just happens. It just happens. It's just happens. I don't know how that little, got little there. Little creed. <laughs> like it's good. I like oh, it. Hey, yeah. I like it. Yeah. Oh man. So well, good. thank you for coming yeah. here today. Yeah, yeah. I know that we threw this at you, and you're oh, still jet lagged, but. Yeah. 
you know, yeah. you no, got to get to painting. So, well, I'm not doing anything until um, after my nephew's graduation on Saturday. Nice. And so then, you have a few days. Yeah. My, my wife's only going to be in town till the 4th. So we're going to kind of take the week just to enjoy being, you know, on a vacation. And I'm going to take the boys down to the DIA because it's right. like my, that's my home away from home is yeah. downtown Detroit. And so we'll go down there and take them down there and do a little sightseeing and stuff like that. And then I'll take her back to the airport. And then it's just game on. Yeah, game on. There's pain everywhere and it's going to be insane. So it'll be fun. Nice. It's going to be great. Yeah. I so love I know, it. I know there's a couple other projects that are going to pop up here and there. And so that's why, I, like I said, I bought a one way ticket. That way I'm not like, ooh, I have until the 10th and mm-hmm. I'm painting until yeah. 2.30 in the morning on the 9th. So it's like. Which it, may or may not have happened in the past. It's happened. Yeah. And actually, a little side tangent, and I know we're on time, but that's what reminded me of the. Thing you guys were talking about is is I, I do take a lot of pride in what I do and as much as fun as I try to have and I try to climb down the ladder and talk to everyone and you know I've never met a stranger I'm pretty social in case you guys haven't noticed and so um one of them was is I, I did a misspelling on one of the signs here on the building here in town and Kelly pointed it out to me and I was on I was on the ladder in another project out of state and she called me and she's like um you got these two letters flipped and I, was I like, just, my heart was beating so fast and I because like, I just didn't want to make that call. Yeah. No. And I was like, and, and it happens and I was, and I was in a time crunch and, um, shout out to Scott, Scott with arcade. Hopefully he's feeling better. Yeah. It's rough. So he helped me take down the awning at covered wagon salary and it was just, it was a good time. And Craig with caveman and Pip helped me out. So it was just kind of a last minute, let's do this. And so it was a little rushed. And so things happened. But Kelly called me, and I was on another project. I was on the on a ladder when she called me, and I was like, "I'll be there the next day." And I literally booked an overnight ticket, and I flew back out and got it fixed. And it was it was a fifteen minute fix. I remember because Kelly offered to fix it for you. Yeah, yeah, I love that, but no thanks. Um, I here's I just, the thing, okay? I just, a, I just a little put a lot of pride in behind my name, and yes. so oh, it's just something I that, that I want to make no, sure I, that I keep I that. So. It was a 15-minute fix, but it was a $500 plane ticket mm-hmm. yeah. to fly back in overnight, to drive back in from Detroit, yeah. to come back in, to dip my paintbrush, to I climb a ladder, so and 15 minutes later, it's done. And then I climb back down, and I fly back yeah. out of town, and I'm like, and it was it's like. It's a really it's, hard word. But it's accountability. Okay. <laughs> but it's an accountability. It's accountability on my part to make sure that I'm carrying that the right yeah. way. And that's no. my name on the building at the end of the day, and it's, you know, I just want to make sure that I deliver what I'm committing to you guys. Yeah, so that's yeah. why it's an Thank important you. thing for me. Yeah. So that's why I totally would have gotten up on a ladder and fixed it though. Yeah. You and know you I would totally have. She, she would have. And you totally would have I fallen. love heights. I would have been great. You could not be Mrs. Michigan if you had a broken leg. True. So that is true. True. So yeah. It all so, no. worked out. It's all and worked out. So it's, it's good. It's beautiful. Yeah. And I think that was it was a, such a facelift and with not a lot of money, I think yeah. put into it from the business. Sure. Sure. I mean, I don't know exactly how much was put yeah. into it, but just like from a an aesthetic standpoint, it looks so different. It looks so it's amazing. good. It's amazing. And then we'll let you guys do your thing. It's amazing what something as simple as fresh paint does. Yeah. 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 It's crazy. So something that as simple as so just true. updating trim or putting a whole new mural on a decrepit part of a yeah. wall that's just been refaced. It's yeah. it's amazing. Because the people that probably don't remember the sister's wall, it was like this taupey kind yeah. of mossy greenish yes. color mm-hmm. and the paint was deteriorating, deteriorating, still waking up to where we had to patch up the wall and paint it over it and you wouldn't even know it looks like a brand new wall. So yeah. it's just amazing. It's um, hard to think back simple... now, even though yeah. that's only been two years. Mm-hmm. It feels like so much longer. <laughs> yeah. But to <laughs> wow, go back thanks. and look no! at that is crazy. It just feels like forever. No, I mean the last two years we have done so much. I yeah. think a lot, like yeah. thinking about all. Oh yeah, y'all been crushing it. Done. It's been it's been yeah. wild Thanks. being being someone living out of state. And I mean, obviously, I'm still attached to Oxford, but yeah. seeing someone and just following the DDA page or seeing following, I've connected with so many people here. I mean, just even like through the the market, like mm-hmm. you connected me to several people. Yeah. Like I'm looking forward to going and seeing everyone over at Popper Butters because they got a new shop. I'm like, this is awesome. It's fantastic. So I'm really excited about that. So seeing even just connecting people or you guys connecting people or, you know, I wouldn't have 
grown to be as close as I am with Sullivan through Grab Cap or mm -hmm. Scott or anything like that had I not been attached to this project. And so it's just a really cool opportunity. So I just really like that opportunity and that resource. And so it's just cool that it's a small town, but just by, you know, shaking the right hands and introducing the right people, you just really have grown to become a community where, you know, everyone really in downtown feels like they're really invested in yeah. each other. And that's just something that's really something I enjoy. I mean, when I talk to Vicki, she's talking about Evergreens or she's talking about Caveman and Pip or she's mm -hmm. talking about like, and it's just neat that everyone just really feels like this is just a synergy in downtown. That's, you know, cause you, you don't get that in some of these other bigger cities. So mm -hmm. I like it. Good so. job, boss. Yeah. Oh, thanks. So, I mean, that's so good a good job. job to all of us though. Cause yeah. I, we have a board that is an amazing team and then mm -hmm. just our committee members and our volunteers mm -hmm. And I couldn't yeah, do this without cool. my right hand. Aww. So it's just, it's been really great. And it's really hard because we're not going to please everybody. And no. I talk about it all the time yeah. because I am a people pleaser by nature. Hard. It's hard to do that. And that's yeah. something, especially like with me as, a, as well. It's like, I'm literally standing on a wall and a ladder. And most of you guys are seeing the worst side of me, which is my backside. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm painting something on a building and then I'm walking away and people may not know who I am and they'll yeah. be like, wow, that's what you guys did with that thing. And I'll be like, oh yeah, thanks. And whoever, yeah, did, yeah. Did, yeah, yeah. that guy's not cool. Like it is hard to have that exposure where you're out in the public and you're going to get every opinion under the sun. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it's hard because you're not, like you said, you, you can't please everyone. Right. Yeah. But, um. Well, I'm hoping that yeah, the community good. shows up and finds you in the next couple of yes. weeks and comes yeah. to say hi. Bring him a Tim Hortons coffee. How do you take your coffee? Ooh, I do a large double double. Okay, so mm. the double double. Two cream, two oh, sugar. You are oh. so not a coffee drinker. I know. Sorry. I can't. Well, I, can't. I worked at Timmy's for a long time over in Troy. Oh. So I worked okay. in the one on Rochester Road. And yes. so so I learned how to make the tin bits and how to do all the stuff. And so, yeah. oh. so and if anybody wants to bring me a coffee, I'm also a double double, but minus <laughs> Splenda. Splenda. Yeah. yeah. See, my wife was bummed. We went through Timmy's this morning and she's like, we love blueberry iced coffee. And it is like a religious experience. Oh, to me. I so, did not even know that was a thing. Oh my sweet heaven. It's amazing. And that's where we fell in love with it was working at Tim Hortons. And so she walked in and we drove, we drive through this morning and she's like, can I get a blueberry iced coffee? And they're like, we don't have any blueberry right now. And I'm oh like, no. Oh, we'll find sorry. her some while yeah. she's here. Yeah. It's just a seasonal thing that they keep their syrups in. And so they just don't have it yet. Gotcha. It's, it's so good. So good. All right. So, you heard it. That's yeah. your summer goal is to try the blueberry, blueberry. ice or coffee? hint, hint, evergreens. Get some blueberry oh, syrup hey. and get some blueberry she iced never coffee. Friends might have hint, blueberry. Hint, hint, hint. I saw Angie today. So oh, I yeah. can, we should. Yeah, so we'll I get on that. I can get me a bagel bomb <laughs> That's and there, start distributing. There? Start distributing in Idaho. Yeah, I know you're going everywhere yeah. else. Frozen dough. So they said today. I was talking Idaho. with Angie. Two hundred and twenty-one stores. Oh my today. gosh, cool. that is amazing! Amazing, cool. amazing. Cool. amazing. Cool. I was walking through like a smaller market, not one of the big chains, the other day, and I saw Aww. the bagel bomb in the frozen section, and I just got all giddy oh because I was just like, "That cool. is so cool!" Get them out in Idaho. Yeah, yes. there you go. Pocatello, there you go. Idaho. <laughs> So Nick, we'll me. see you tonight. Yeah, at concerts yeah. in the we'll park see you tonight, yeah. six thirty. But and we, tell, let's talk about this improv. Oh my gosh, last week, this is it was so, so cool, funny. And we do have a improvement, a process improvement for tonight. So last week, I will say, I also felt it was a little hard to hear, yes. especially if you weren't in near the front. But they have new mics tonight, so Yay. they'll be able to, you know, project their voice a little bit more. Yes. But it was so funny. They had such a great group, and I'm so looking forward to tonight to see what they have in store for us. Yes, I am so excited. Adam, who runs um, the new program here in the community, he has so much energy. He does. And I, love I it. used to think I had energy, and then I met him, and I was like, whoa. Yeah, he is full of ideas, full yeah. of energy. He's fun to be around. It's great. Yeah, so I'm excited yeah. for him. And then Rodney Fredericks, this is our third year with yeah. him back, and he's phenomenal. If you haven't been to Dueling Pianos before, it really is like a comedy show with a concert. Yeah. 
And it's great songs, and you can make requests. So that's fun, yes. too, because you can ask them to play your favorite song, and then they do a little spoof on it. Yes. They'll change the words a little bit. It's just a really great time. Yeah. Our friends at Oxford Bank will be popping popcorn. They're yeah. our main sponsor. And then Tap is our yeah. weekly sponsor. And we love Mike and Lou. And then we have Lolo's Cotton Candy. And Steve, happy birthday to Mr. Oh, Steve, who's our birthday. balloon artist. Oh, that's awesome. But we let him go on vacation for his oh, birthday. All right. So that's fair. That's I fair. decided um, <laughs> spur of the moment to get on Amazon and order balloons. And the interns are currently at the office watching YouTube Perfect. on how to make balloon animals. So I they will that. be with me tonight. So please only ask for a sword, a wand, or a dog yeah. because those are the only three things I Worms. know how to make. Worms and snakes. And even okay. that, even that is is TBD. Hey, let's do you honest. know how to make balloon animals by chance? I can make worms and snakes. And snakes. That'll work. That'll and work. I can make a, one a long worm. I can make hot dogs. Hot Perfect. Dogs. Perfect. So even the kogels with the little. Oh the my gosh. Just, yeah. Oh, so, yeah. So, but it'll be a good time. It's, oh, it's so fun. It's such a good time. And it's part of our social district. I don't know that everybody, I'm sure a lot of people know, but if you haven't been to a concert recently, last summer we enacted uh, the park as part of our social district. So you are able to bring um, social district beverages. People grab food. Sick Pizza will be there tonight as well, selling pizza, or you can grab food from one of our local establishments and come. Hang out. The weather's beautiful oh, today. It's, gonna be it's so been so nice. It has been so rough the last couple of weeks with this weather. We've had to cancel, reschedule, postpone all the things, but it's actually and that gives beautiful. Me so much anxiety. Can know, we just talk about that for a second? Because we have in our contracts for concerts in the park, which Kimberly manages, like a time of day that mm-hmm. we have to call these concerts, and it's been so unpredictable. Oh. And it's so hard to make that decision. Yeah. You feel all this pressure like, okay, well, if I cancel and the storm doesn't come, which happens, then people are mad. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and then, if you don't cancel and the storm comes, oh, which has also happened before in the past. It's so hard. Yeah. So you're doing a great job. We had a great time last week. We had the Bon Jovi band and that was awesome. And this week is going to be fun too. And I'm looking forward to it. What else do we have going on? So line dancing has been a yes. riot. I'm not oh, going to lie. I so have fun. had more fun than I thought. <laughs> so Ryan comes in to teach it. And it's line dancing, but it's also he was teaching the Texas Hold'em dance mm-hmm. the other day. It's not it's not set professional. In stone. It's just fun. It's yeah. community. It's in social districts. Somebody brought their kids out the other day. Yeah. Our kids are always mm-hmm. playing ping pong and um, maybe checkers. Maybe dancing on occasion. Yeah, maybe. A little bit. And so people started messaging us this week, asking us to extend the series. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is July, I think it's 13th or 14th, whatever that day is, we're going to move them to Wednesdays. We're going to have them in Centennial Park for the month of July and August, four or five weeks. We'll get the stuff put up online, uh, extended a half an hour longer for the class. And then it'll be in Social District because it'll be in Centennial Park. You know, people can bring their families. And Ryan had the best idea. He said he is going to choreograph. So he's a choreographer in his actual job. He is going to choreograph an Oxford line dance specific I to Oxford and this. teach it, which this I'm is fantastic. so excited. This is awesome. Yeah, it's going to be yes. great. And then Cornhole starts the second week in yeah. July. Yeah. We are full. Which yep. is amazing. This is and then we have car shows <laughs> that are still going on. We have Wind Down Wednesday. We do. The trolley is still running Friday the and Saturday. Gonna start. I can't wait till the market the starts. The market is overflowing with vendors. Yes. It's wink, great. Wink, wink. <laughs> wink, wink. I know. I always say, sure, we have room for you. We don't. And then Kimberly we we wants do. to we smack me. No, of course not. But yeah, so we are well over our original number of vendors that we were planning on having. So we are going to have vendors into the parking lot. We'll see how it goes that first week. And just it's a great mix of different businesses, some new types of items. It's going to be really fun. What I'm types of items? Oh, my gosh. So we have like we have home goods. We have artwork. We have um body care, hair care. We have food, a a huge array of food. So we have some really cool, interesting things. We have our pierogi people coming back, which I know is a huge seller. We have Cairo's pizza, which you can come and get fresh made brick oven pizzas, brick fire oven, whatever that term is, which are phenomenal. 
Um, we have some chili oils. We have some like med- Mediterranean type foods. I mean, it's just a really cool mix this year. We yeah. have permanent jewelry. We have oh, we have the honey trucker and maple syrup. And syrup. Um, and the trucker hat bar. Which That's is gonna be fun. So fun. That's a new a new trend. Are you from? Is this has it made it its way to has it Idaho? Made it, <laughs> has it made it? It's trickling out there. Okay. Idaho. They're yeah. really cute. It's super cute. So we have a new vendor doing that. Um, I can't even think of anything else off the top of my head. So please excuse. Oh, sourdough bread. Sorry, I don't have jet lag, but I my brain's a little. The only thing we're looking for fuzzy. still is a farmer, and it's so hard. Produce, yep. produce is just tough because produce doesn't really come into season until that week anyways. Yeah. But we are consistently making calls, and hopefully yes. we'll find somebody by the time the market starts. Yes. If not, I told the interns that they're going to go down to Eastern Market every Thursday <laughs> and bring back produce. <laughs> That's hilarious. So we do speak that struck a chord in my head. So we do have a vendor that's doing meat. Okay, um, that's so right. So we have meat and like beef and poultry and lamb and turkey, I believe. Do we have eggs? Um, TBD, potentially. Okay. If they have enough, they will bring their eggs. And okay. we might have a one or two vendors that do it, like just smaller scale. But we are looking for a vendor, a produce vendor, for a little bit larger scale, similar, similar to what we had last year. So You somebody- did such a great job at getting a mix and variety this year. I mean... When I started it four years ago, yeah. um, it was not great. But you just ramped it up. I mean, I thought last year was great, but yeah. this year looking at this list, it's incredible. Yeah. It's going to be really, really fun. So thank you. I think it was interesting. We had the luxury this year, and I think we haven't necessarily had that in the past, of being able to pick our vendors. Yes. So we were able to not have too many duplicates of the same type of product. And I think that really helps make it a little bit more well-rounded and more exciting for our customers to come in and have a larger selection of things. Not that there's anything wrong with an artisan market where you're going in and choosing from, you know, 10 different vendors of household it's goods or whatnot. It's better for the vendor too, though. We, Agreed. We want them to be successful. Agreed. You know, our whole goal with this, one is – absolutely support the community and the brick and mortars that are there. We Mm -hmm. charge a fee, but that helps us to go right back into marketing for our brick and mortars as Mm -hmm. well as the market. But then on top of it, it's to find people who eventually want to have a brick and mortar in our downtown, which we've been able to do with two businesses. So and hopefully more. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be I'd like to pick a couple. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my goodness. So yeah. So next week is July 4th. So we no Won't concerts. A, no concerts. No podcast, probably. Maybe. We might do one Wednesday. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe we'll see. We'll see. So next week's a little bit later. We have line dancing, car shows, wind down Wednesday. Yes. And then we have- Charlie will still run. We Friday do, and Saturday? Yes. Okay. And this Friday, we do have the, the pub bar crawl. crawl. Yeah, pub crawl. Yes. So that'll be nice. So if you haven't gotten your tickets, there yep. are still some available. There's a, there's a pub crawl? Yes, there, there is. is. When is it? It's Friday. This Friday. Like tomorrow. Like tomorrow? Oh, as well, yeah. As well as the concert? Huh? As well as the concert? What concert? Concerts tonight. Concerts tonight. Just yeah. kidding. Hey. Yep. You have your whole weekend planned. Hey. Hey. We got it for you. We have planned your weekend for Con- you. Concert, yeah. Concert, drinking, <laughs> graduation. And then work. A day off. Work. Then so work. So the okay. uh, Brian Burney, who runs this Lake, Lake Orion All-American Summer Pub Crawl. Yes. Oh, I saw that. Yeah. They you guys included extra yeah. this year. Yeah. 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 I remember that. Now. Yes. So that is it. tomorrow, and that is going to be so fun. Unfortunately, I can't make it, but I'm bummed. But it, you guys are going to have a great time. It's going to be great. It's going to be amazing. But yeah. We have a lot going on. It's been a lot, but it it's is. been really good. And so then fun. all the office work on top of it, which nobody wants to hear about. They don't. It's our day to day. Yeah. By the way, we got to talk about bills when you get back. It's going to be great. I was going to say, do you guys kind of like divide and conquer? And oh, yeah. Have your, I have not met your interns yet. Oh, they're I know great. Reagan from last year. I oh, remember her. Yeah. But she's, I, she's, she's working full time now. Yeah. I know. Hi, Reagan. I don't which know if awesome. you're watching us, but yeah. we miss you. And then I haven't met. The two, so you guys have got Lilo. two as opposed to one now. So. Lilo. So, so are you guys going to get like <laughs> Lola and Larissa? Extra? Okay. And oh. together we are Lilo Kikai. Lilo Kikai. Is that? Yes. Lilo. Larissa. Oh, yeah, oh, it is. Wait. It, lo, le, I don't Lilo. know. Anyway. But between the four of us, That's we right. are okay. that yeah. name. <laughs> you'll meet you'll meet him tonight. It's great. So. Cool. 
<laughs> all right. Well, hopefully we'll see yes. you all next week. If not, have a happy 4th of July. All right. Bye, guys. Bye.